Check with Broadway. I don't know. Maybe I'll go like that. Who knows? No, Welcome back to Ballroom Feed. Today we are redoing our next foxy pattern, which is the left rock turn. If you didn't see our first video, we're redoing a few of the foxy videos that we already did to improve your experience and the audio quality. So be sure to check that out and we'll get right into it. All right, the leader's foot directions for the left turn. So what's gonna happen first is I'm still gonna walk forward my left foot as I would normally in a basic. But now where I make this first change is I go backwards on my right foot and then I go to my side left to sway right to sway. So I'm still going walk, walk, sway, sway. It's just during my second walk forward, back I start to rotate and open myself up to start rotation and then kind of recover with this sway, sway. My counts are gonna be one, two, three, four. There's a few different ways to do this, but what I can probably suggest right away is that as I go backwards, I'm just gonna curve and open myself up a little bit here and then start to sway, sway. I can do an eighth of a turn or up to a quarter of a turn to the left each time. Okay, followers footwork. I'm gonna show you one time facing this way and then we're gonna break it down together. I take one step backwards. I'm gonna step forwards and rotate towards my partner, sway twice, and then we could do it again or go into a different step. Okay, so all we're gonna do is start with our right foot, take one step back, no difference from your basic. From here, I'm actually gonna go forward this time and rotate to my left, so let's do a quarter for now. And then we're gonna sway just like the basic, right and left, okay? Still four steps, and we're just changing up the direction a little bit. So I go backwards, forwards, rotate left, side step sway, and sway. Again, just like that, I go Back, forward, sway, sway. The amount of rotation is definitely gonna be variable and dependent on our leader. So for now we're learning it like this, but when you're dancing it with your partner, make sure to follow his amount of rotation. It could change depending on, and it most likely will, okay? So with our counts this time, we're gonna go. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again, same direction so you can see. I go one, two, three, four. If we were to continue, you can just practice this on your own and kind of rotate around a quarter each time or whatever makes sense to you, okay? One, two, three, four. 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 All right, key points to this left turn here. So how we lead and follow this turn, this pattern? So I still walk forward as normal and I haven't started rotating yet. So, so far nothing's changed for her. As I now go backwards, I start to turn myself however much I want to rotate, again an eighth up to a quarter of a turn, and then it's done by the sway sway. So the second step is when I make all the rotation that I want to do, my sway sway, I'm done rotating. So we do it maybe from this side one time here. I'll go one, I'll turn two, and then sway three, four, all right? So what, how am I leading her now physically? My right hand is on her back on the shoulder blade. If you're new to this and you're trying to get the best connection to make it easier for yourself, we recommend being higher on the shoulder blade. You'll have more control over your partner. As you get more comfortable, we can start to relax it more and put, maybe put it more in the lower back, but you'll find that you kind of push and pull her around too much and it'll be harder for her to get the information. So to make it easy for yourself, I'm gonna go a little bit higher here on the shoulder blade as she's in the front of my shoulder. So I can already feel her here because I'm a little bit off to the left. So what I do is I don't pull her, I just move myself backwards and because my hand's connected to her back, then it should initiate her movement as well too. So this is a good drill you can guys can do together where our, my right and her left side's connected here and then she feels when I wanna move forward and then she feels when I wanna move back. So one more time slowly, she feels right here that I'm moving my body forward as I go take a step and then my, my hand my, is catching her back as I start to move back and away. And then she feels me start to turn my body and my shoulders a little bit here, which makes us now start to rotate and I kind of open the door for her to come through and we just recover during this sway sway. And if I do the two different amounts of turn one more time, the eighth of a turn would be just going to this diagonal here, right? If I do this again from the beginning, I'm gonna do a quarter of a turn now. I just open myself up a little bit more 
You can do this one time or consecutively depending on how far you're trying to get around. You actually have many options here. So before you start to lead and follow it with different patterns, we recommend just trying it a few times as it is just to get comfortable rotating for the first time and the leading and following and connection starts to change. So what's really important is that you keep her in front of you. What happens a lot of the time is he'll kind of like move himself away. So if we do it poorly one time, so I'm trying to follow him, but you can see how he turned his body away, but his frame and his connection totally left me behind. So what you want to practice is bringing her with you because she is waiting for how much rotation you're going to give her because it does take one leader and one follower to successfully do anything as a partnership. He's our leader, so we're going to make sure that we stay connected to him as well, otherwise he's not going to be able to lead us. And then however much he does decides to rotate or whatever it calls for in the moment, I can easily follow him because we're so connected and because it's clear where he's bringing me, okay? So that being said, you can connect it like we did in the music video with your basic step. That way you can kind of progress the dance a little bit. So try combining some of your basics with the left rock turn. You can do it in a combination or just lead and follow it organically to really test your skills. When it comes to following this successfully, it's important to always assume that you're gonna to continue to do a basic every single time, and it's up to him to initiate and lead a change. Or Linz can tell you that if she were to assume she's about to come forward and do that turn, but he wasn't gonna do it, then we now step on each other. Where worst case scenario, if she's assuming we're gonna do a basic again, but I wanna turn, we actually just got too far away from each other instead of actually kicking each other, right? So if we do this in a basic and a left turn one time here, that she's assuming we're gonna keep doing basics over and over and over again, and it's my job to initiate otherwise because of the change in my body. And again, I did one turn, but she's gonna assume a basic again, and then I can always do, again, these turns back to back, like we just said, and a good way to practice. But then she assumes she's gonna go back to a basic, and no matter how many of these I do, she's always gonna keep going, doing this basic every time, and it's my job to stay connected and then lead the change. So one more thing I want to talk about with the left rock turn specifically is your foot directions. So even though we are starting to rotate, it's very important that you still keep your directions and don't start taking side steps or diagonal steps while we're rotating. It's very easy to do that. But we still want to go forward, back, side, side, or back, forward, side, side. Mm -hmm. So make sure when you do this step, you're still going forward and back, and then forward and back. And then side sway is pretty easy. A lot of times people start to do like weird side and diagonal steps trying to kind of cheat the um, cheat the step. And then once again, we start to get this kind of waddling look from the first video which we mentioned, which again is not attractive, doesn't feel good. And usually it gets very confusing of where you are in the step when you start to change, uh, maybe change a pattern. So make sure you keep those foot directions. I always say for the followers to just say in your head or you can say it out loud if you want, back, forward, sway, sway, back, forward, sway, sway, when we practice this step in particular. That way you don't get lost of where you are, especially when he's leading us and we don't wanna force the rotation, again, that maybe wasn't happening or he wanted to do less or more than we anticipated. So anticipate less for us and then for him, just confidence and knowing what you're gonna do before you do it. Yeah, the second step is always the issue. And she's 100% right saying that. When she comes forward, it, I want her to come forward towards me and give me some power and energy forward, where if she takes an incredibly conservative step forward and I move away from her, I have a tough time kind of bringing her with me. And the same thing for me, I do not want to go step out to the side and just get out of her way and free rotate. I want to move myself out of the way. And you can always make it smaller as you get more comfortable, but clear foot directions, exactly what she said, is the most important thing at the beginning. Mm. guys, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. We wanted to let you know that we do have a website. We're gonna link it down in the description for you, which includes many more patterns than we just have up on YouTube. So we have a lot more patterns, we have technique videos, we have little combinations. We're going to create full routines for wedding couples, or if you're just learning a routine for fun, that can work too. So go check that out. That is in the wedding section on our website, but I'm gonna link it below so it's nice and easy to find. So go check that out. Subscribe here for more videos every week. Like this video so we know you did. Comment down below what you liked or what you wanna see next, and we'll see you guys very soon.